Cheers. Season's greetings and welcome to Two Balls in a Mic. We have a very special guest today. This is going to be hopefully the first of many uh, athletes from the top selling out soccer team in San Diego. I'll just put that out there. Uh, she was the 33rd overall pick 2023 for your San Diego Wave. Please welcome goalkeeper Lauren Brisky. Lauren, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Uh, Thank you for your time. Welcome. I know it's uh, today's your day off after, you know, a long, long week of training, I imagine, coming up, uh, especially with preseason ramping up. We got a couple of games already under the belt. Um, mm -hmm. First of all, welcome to San Diego. Um, how has it you. been? I mean, I know uh, SoCal flows through you uh, <laughs> up in UCLA, San Onofre, now in San Diego. How's yep. the transition been down here? Um, it's been awesome. I mean, uh, again, luckily I'm very close to home, which is super nice. Only a 40 minute drive. Um, but it's been super fun. I mean, it's already been, I can't believe like over a month here. I feel like it's been going by so fast, but it's been super fun. And, and I mean, yeah, I mean, you got drafted into San Diego wave. How, how was that feeling for you when you found out you were going to end up playing in San Diego? Um, I was just, I like, I, I don't even know. Like it still hasn't, to be honest, still hasn't hit me yet. But um, it's just such an exciting, I was like so thrilled. I was like, wow, I'm going to be so close to home and just be able to play and be around such amazing players. And um, again, be around friends and family. And yeah, I mean, I was just, I still, I'm just like, what? Like, this isn't real. Like, I get still want to like pinch myself to like, <laughs> you know, it's just crazy. I mean, we do have uh, the moment, right? Right here. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> San Diego Wave FC select Lauren Brisky from UCLA. So, I mean, Washington what, Spirit, you're now on the clock. What is the what is that immediate moment of like like we we did it like this we've been working for this or it was like you know what this is kind of what we had in mind. <laughs> I mean, just like obviously this is like a dream come true. When I was like a little girl, I was just like this is what I wanted to do my whole life become a professional soccer player and just. Hearing my name, I was just like in awe and just like, wow, like all that hard work really did pay off. So I'm, it's just, wow. I'm still just like, wow. Like just hearing that, I'm like, oh my gosh. It was just so unreal. So goalkeeper, right? I mean, he yeah. is a goalkeeper as well. He loves yeah. the position. He respects oh, nice. it so much. What got you into deciding when you were young to say, I want to be a goalkeeper? Um, it's so funny, actually. Uh, I tried out for the club it's called SoCal Blues in Orange County. And um, I tried out as a forward, <laughs> okay. U9. I was like, all right, let's do this, like club team, like let's instead of like ASO plus back in the day. Mm -hmm. But um, I was just there and my old, old coach, Mary Namey, like I just would go in goal, like for fun, I guess. So I would just be like, why not? It'll be fun to go in. And then um, my, my coach, Mary Namey, was like to my mom, hey, does your daughter like want to play goalkeeper? And she was like, sure, I did. So like it kind of worked out like that and just started like, um training and I thought the six yard box was like as far as you can go on the field <laughs> like I had no idea like um all the rules and everything but I mean I just started to love it and I also played softball which helped a lot with hand-eye coordination so I feel like that was also a big play into it too no absolutely I mean I mean you already kind of spilled the spoiled it right I also <laughs> am a goalkeeper or was a goalkeeper <laughs> but it takes a special mentality to decide yeah. to be the one person on the field in a sport that you can't use hands to be like you know what no, I'm going to use my hands and everything else to, to make sure that I do the best. I mean, is, yeah. is that kind of the, the freedom that you kind of uh, experience with the position or what kind of, once you were in there, like, what did you like about it? Cause it's a pressure filled uh, position to be completely honest. Um, to be honest, when I was younger, I was like, Oh my God, no running. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, <laughs> yes. But yeah, I mean, you gotta be a little crazy, like you said, to play this position, but um, yeah, I mean, it's, was like oh i'm like not bad at it so why not just keep going with it so yeah i feel like that's kind of where my head was at and again no running was a big a big thing 100 percent. and you play most of the most of the game that's, that's the one thing i always tell people yeah you guys get subbed unless there's a injury or i want to yeah. go score a goal or something because we're winning by so many i'm the one that plays the most so yeah exactly. that's, that's great 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 Cuba. and i mean you 
played in UCLA and your time there, you uh, won a lot of games. And, I mean, you, recently UCLA has produced great talent. You're now in the NWCL. Recently they had Mia Fisher also come out to the uh, Liga MX Femenil. So wh what mm -hmm. has been the secret with UCLA producing great talent so far? What's, what is that program doing right? I mean, <laughs> that's a great question. Um, just obviously – The school itself, I think, brings in a lot of people just being one of the top academic schools. And obviously, just overall, we just had such great talent. Like, Abby Dahlkamper went there. Um, just all these amazing players and Sydney LaRue. And um, I just feel like, again, it's all obviously we love soccer, but it comes down to also academics. Well, that was like for me, especially. And the location is just amazing. Obviously, like Los Angeles, Westwood, just so beautiful. California again can't go wrong with that but yeah I feel like that's just again it's just all around um part of it for sure and I mean I've um been to UCLA a couple times never attended but just <laughs> kind of tell you what what fun it is around there too uh you know going to fat sales at 2 a.m <laughs> see I, I, I was a frequent flyer over there, um, so <laughs> but it's, it's a great place to, to play soccer. I mean, even on the, on the men's side, you know, Jimmy Conrad also went there for another podcast, but, um, number one ranked, uh, at that time, uh, in UCLA, you had, it was a great, a game against, uh, Carolina and Nuke and uh, Nuke Duke. Um, mm -hmm. but what is the difference as far as, uh, from what you can tell, um, moving now from the college game into the professional uh, scene, at least for training, right? Is there a, a, a large gap of difference in, in the, the difficulty of it, in the variety of um, goalkeeper drills, or what's that transition like been for you? I mean, it's just like now it's your job at the end of it, you know? So it's like you don't have to deal with school, which has been great. But, again, it's managing your body, Like, that's literally, it's just so weird to think, like, this is your job now. Like, you have to, like, recover so well and just always be 100%. And with college, um, I mean, I was there for so many years. I was a uh, <laughs> sixth year or something crazy like that. But mm -hmm. now I'm back down to, like, being the youngest again, which is so weird to me. Because it's been, like, I've been, like, you know, the oldest one in college for the longest, obviously, like, the last couple of years. And now going back to, like, down to like you know like all right here we go again freshman you know like a rookie um and then just obviously playing with like the top level like um usually obviously we had like a lot of great players just like now just having like such top level players just like alex morgan like kaylin sheridan like all these amazing players and just being able to learn from all of these um players have been so it's like just from one a month or a month and a half i believe and it's just been so crazy and just um i think also in the pro game is just like the small details are just so important like to to your like first touch uh, prepping it and then knowing like where the pressure is like i'm learning all these fun things right now but it's just yeah it's, there's so many little meticulous things i believe like and obviously the pro game it's just so important because you're playing against these such big players and then not only that you also have working with casey's tony right who the players oh, have course, expressed yeah. last season how amazing yeah. she is so what's the biggest takeaway you've learned from her maybe in the past month and a half she's intense <laughs> <laughs> that, no, I'm just kidding um but um I mean yeah like just like again like how precise she is and just how everything she says is just to the T that it just makes sense and how how we want to play and then obviously I'm with Louie as well Louie Hunt and he's just been such a key um coach to me just again learning just the small minute details to become the best that I can be because he just knows like like my strengths and then what I can also work on to become like the best again that I can be as a player. But yeah, Casey's awesome. Been learning so much from her. Um, just like she told us her journey and just, she's just like, I'm a badass woman. So for sure. Absolutely. And then it's a team that's filled with incredible athletes. And that's the one thing that I will say to San Diegans who, I mean, obviously they filled up Snapdragon, but the quality of the product is, is world-class that you have right here in your backyard, right? Yeah. From top to bottom, uh, you have past, I won't say even past, everything's present and future, uh, mm -hmm. even with uh, Naomi Gurma, who oh, is the next yeah. superstar. Um, yeah. And you have this, this perspective from uh, uh, being a teammate, right? And we see these mm -hmm. larger-than-life athletes. What's it been like getting to know these athletes and then, I don't know, like some maybe heroes of yours uh, or, you know, just on a personal level, what's that been like getting to know your teammates? 
it's just been like oh it's like surreal it's just like knowing obviously obviously like we're all human it's just like seeing like like um you always say like the best in everyone but like just like knowing that um that everyone has like has gone through something like we again on our team we do like our journeys which is really cool just we like talk about our whole life story and stuff and just hearing all these from all the players all their life stories and just like wow okay like I'm not alone with like some of these things that I went through as well as a soccer player like I feel like a lot of these like like uh high-end players also had to deal with like mental health like all these like uh, big things that are in the game and just like obviously because they're playing at such a high level like national team and all that stuff it's just like um knowing that like you'll you'll be okay you know and then just like hearing all these awesome stories but I feel like yeah and then just again learning from them like because they've played at such a high level and like that's what I want to do one day so yeah like I mean uh national team stuff. And with teammates, I mean, your teammates with Kaylin Sharon, and I got to ask her yeah. last week uh, about how excited she is with to work with this group of goalkeepers now and mm -hmm. her thoughts on you joining the team. You want to go first? Yeah. Hey, Kaylin, great to have you back in San Diego. Last season, you had a competition with uh, Carly Telford, who stepped up in some games in your absence, and now you're adding Lauren as coming in as a rookie. Do you see yourself being a mentor to her, and are you excited for the group of goalkeepers that San Diego Wave has this season? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I don't know if I see myself as a mentor. She sees me as one. I, I would love that. I, I don't want to step out of turn on that. But um, I think last year it was an incredible environment for us to learn and, and grow from each other. And we want to continue that. And she has so many strengths in different areas than us. And um, hopefully we can teach her some things and we can learn from her as well. Um, I think that's the environment that we want to we want to keep here in San Diego is just that like challenge and competitiveness but ultimately we're we're all trying to help each other get better and um if we can stick to that then we're all going to improve so it's better than being negatively competitive something i also got from there and i've heard from the training ground is that you bring that personality and that's something that even kaylin said said uh after and is that just kind of your style of goalkeeping just that vocal just i'm, I'm that presence I'm, I'm that player on the field when i have to and even when i don't like I bring it every time. Like, that's honestly what we've heard from a couple of teammates and, and, and personnel out of the club. So <laughs> where does that stem from? Where does that come from? And what does it mean to hear something like that from uh, your teammate? I mean, that's just awesome. Like she said, I think she has been such a big mentor to me. Just again, like her playing at such a high level and just she's just such a great human being. And um, being able to learn from her and Carly has just been such an awesome experience. And again, hearing that from my teammates have been like, that's awesome. And yeah, I like, I always want to be there. Like I want to give obviously a hundred percent and just help them, whatever, how I can help them become the best. And obviously they've been helping me so much from this like month and a half. And I'm so excited to um, see like how much more I can help them and they can help me that. Yeah. I feel like what she said, like, it's not a negative environment. Like we're all here for one um, goal is just like have like become like the best team that we can be and win, you know, the highest thing. So, yeah. And you know, the season's fast approaching and there's going to be time where some players, <laughs> <I know. laughs> some players might be out. Have you visualized what the first start will look and feel like for yourself? I gosh, no. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. No, but, um, but I mean, just, I'm more, I'm like funny. I'm like more like in the moment. Like I'm just thinking about like right now, but obviously like that's been in the back of my head and just like, that'll be such a surreal moment just to be out, like um, in my, like maybe hometown or not, but like in this area and just like, again, being so close to home, which is so cool. But yeah, I mean, um, yeah, it, it's going to be an awesome experience for sure. So just baby steps. <laughs> I mean, I, I can imagine, right? Like everybody wants to see that debut, that, that, might want to ask for that uh, lineup sheet whenever it, nobody <laughs> uses it. Like that one's going to be framed. Uh, we can't wait for that. But uh, obviously San Diego Wave coming in, in inaugural season last season, they fill up a brand new stadium here in San Diego. Um, what's the what's the talk about when it comes to your teammates, maybe back in UCLA or some teammates that are already in the league? Um, what's that kind of conversation like about Wave, right? You're from – SoCal. So now we have Angel City. We have Wave. Um, mm -hmm. This movement of NWSL is expanding and it's growing. Um, what's it been like as far as this team goes? Like when Wave came on the scene, it was there conversations like, man, that's a destination that I, I wish I can get to. 
Yeah, for sure. I mean, who would want, who wouldn't want to live in San Diego? I mean, it's just like such a beautiful town. And again, like learning from such amazing players and coaches. And I was like, yeah, this is like where I would love to be. So I'm really happy I was able to end up here for sure. And I, I kind of want to bring up your TikTok. I mean, you're almost at <laughs> 10 million likes, 100,000 follow, 100, followers. Oh, Are we going to be seeing some behind the scenes content uh, from your TikTok account? Like, what do you mean? Like, you want me to do more? Like, with I mean, we have videos this. like this. Yeah. Oh, God. Like that. Not that one. Why'd you do that one? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's God. great content. And I'll, and I'll tell you this, Lauren, just because San Diego soccer has been growing and in, in, in it's been here and the eyes have been popping up. And a lot of the community, you know, we've been doing this with the, uh, San Diego Loyal, who's across town as well, mm -hmm. is... The San Diego community wants to know and get to know the players and individuals for, for who they genuinely are, right? Like, we, yes. we've seen a lot of players who obviously need and, and have gotten great media training, and they'll give you the, yeah, well, it was a great game, and this, and this, and that, and <laughs> they bring down the decibels. and But at yeah. the same time, they also bring that into their personal life where we know, you know, there's a little bit more spice there. There's a little yeah. bit more, yeah, for you sure. know, some <laughs> je ne sais quoi. And, um <laughs> You know, that's something that this community, I will for sure say that they're they're really vocal. And have you seen any of the community out and about, any wave shirts, jerseys out there? I know the Sirens, the supporter group, is is very involved with the team and is a great, great bunch of fans there. Yeah. So crazy story, actually. So yesterday, uh, UCLA was honored at the Angel City game for winning that championship. So I like, went over there because we had today off and then um, – a meeting got canceled, but I went and I was signing some stuff and this guy was wearing a Bruins jacket and he's like, Oh my God, he took his jacket off. He was wearing a wave like Jersey. I'm like, wow. what are you wearing this game at the Angel City game? But I was dying laughing. I was like, no way. He's like, I was hoping you were going to be here whatever. And like I signed it and it was just so funny. Just like they're everywhere. Like obviously they're going to be everywhere, but like, I was like, Oh, respect wearing it at the Angel City game. But yeah, it's just been super cool. Just all the fan base and everything. Awesome. And, sure. and have your teammates talked to you about that? Maybe like rivalries with Angel City. I know a lot of the players are friends with other players in different teams, uh, but have they mentioned like, you know, this team, we're, we have a bit of a rivalry now. We're starting a rivalry. How's that talk going? <laughs> I mean, obviously it's um, cross town. That's just like with me. It was like when against USC, it's just like, it's just going to mm -hmm. be, you know, because you're cross town. Um, same, obviously, um, state and everything. But um, yeah, I mean, It'll be fun for sure because I know obviously a lot of girls on that team and it'll be really fun. But yeah. And just bringing back to like soccer wise, like what would you say your style of goalkeeping is and style of play would be? Uh, who are some of your heroes as far as some somebody you try to emulate? I know when I was coming up, I'm like, wow, that's a good save. I'll try to pull that one off. And I realized that that's not my body type or sometimes <laughs> and I'm not meant to be a rubber band sometimes, but what would you say you describe <laughs> your uh, goalkeeping style and, and what it's evolved into? Um, when I was really young, it was all, I feel like where I was like made into a goalkeeper, like at Blues and everything, it was all about shot stopping. Yeah. So I feel like that's been such a big, like, like plus for me, I believe just, um, and that's been just such a big part of my game. And then obviously now it's evolving to obviously we're like the, like a super keeper. So like we got to use our feet a lot. And, um, I, at UCLA I've been improving, like I've improved a lot. And then here I'm going to keep improving. And I feel like that's just something that'll be super fun to learn, keep learning. And, but yeah, I feel like shot stopping and reaction, I feel like is very, it's been fun for me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I won't, I won't pull up the TikTok where there was one I saw of, of you utilizing your resources, shall we say, by stopping a shot that came off and ricocheted off the post. Oh. Um, that would, I mean, that was my senior day too. Can you believe that? <laughs> hey, anything and everything, as long as the ball doesn't cross that line is, is exactly. just, it's just the mentality, right. right? The first uh, minute of the game too. Is that crazy? And then we ended up winning three zero, but it could have been a completely different game. <laughs> yeah. Kept the clean sheet. That's all we got. Yep. Sheet. Exactly. Yeah, that's sheet. what's, that's what's important. Uh, are there any teammates that you've gotten close to already? Uh, I know a lot of fans ask that. Well, who, who are your closest friends so far? Who are yeah. you going out and having breakfast with or going out and eating lunch with? Um, so it's crazy. Sierra, the one that also got drafted and um, signs, she was my old teammate 
back in blues days for a little bit so it was just so cool just seeing how we both ended up in the same spot again as teammates so we've been hanging out a lot and my two roommates Mia and Amira have been super awesome obviously you can tell the me and Amira on that one <laughs> I have TikTok and I have one of Mia coming soon but <laughs> um but yeah they've been awesome too I mean everyone's been great Carly like Kaylin I've been awesome obviously like that GK union been great um but yeah, I mean, everyone has been so welcoming and it's just been such a great experience. But yeah, I feel like those are my fun little bubble right now. <laughs> I know it's been kind of cold lately, but you're going to take him out. You're going to take him out surfing sometime. Have you gone out surfing oh in San Diego? Take Casey I, surfing. Yeah, take Casey surfing. Oh my gosh, that'd be funny. Um, I would love to. I know my dad's so funny. He's like, okay, like when can I bring the boards down? Can we go? <laughs> I'm like, you know, when it's not like 40 degrees in the water, it'll be great. But <laughs> No, uh, yeah, for sure. I, we literally talked about it. I brought Amira and Mia home actually one weekend and my dad's like, let me know. I'm like, okay, they're going to freeze, <laughs> but <laughs> for sure. Some good waves down here in San Diego. I mean, yeah. this whole coast is, is, is wonderful. You have a favorite beach in San Diego? Um, I love La Jolla, just that area. Yeah. But I'm trying to think, I don't have like a, I mean, I need to explore more. Let's just say that. Cause I didn't really have a hundred percent. Yeah. especially once it once the sun comes out and it isn't raining while the sun's out because that's just weird um <laughs> yeah. yeah no it's it, it'll be a good exploration and, and for you. we're very prideful on our mexican food here in san diego have you had oh any, yeah any spots that you've gone to for mexican california burritos i will like say that? out of the times i went to ucla anything up there mexican food wise is is is, is, is a sad state of affairs i'll say i know, <laughs> I know. luckily again i'm from san Clemente, so the mexican yeah. food is pretty good there too um not i haven't I've gone a couple places, but I don't remember the names, but it's been insane. I'm just, and I, that's my favorite type of food is Mexican food. So well, <laughs> perfect. Well, Chipotle is. is oh not, God, not Chipotle. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. It's the perfect have, reaction. I have to talk to Alex about that one. Yeah. Her first today. move was, Hey guys, I'm in capital of Mexican food city. And, sh and then she's like, by the way, eat Chipotle. I was like, great. No. Get, get oh, your cool, bag. Love cool. it. Uh, it's all part of it. Uh, you were mentioning right now, just kind of that journey of uh, having a teammate from all the way back in your youth days. Mm -hmm. um, as far as just moving into that, that, that system now where there is a vision of professional women's mm -hmm. soccer, um, what's something that you would say to somebody coming up? I know, um, there's high schoolers around the city who, uh, are keen and pay attention to it. One of the things that I love about the fan base of NWSL is that you'll have, and we work at a after school programming and the little girls will be like, um, yeah, so this weekend, uh, we, the wave came in and, uh, Mira Ali only played this amount of minutes and she played this, this many oh, amount of passes yeah. and I have this card for her rookie year and it's insane. And that's just so pure. And I love that. <laughs> uh, but what message would you have to, to, you know, upcoming uh players and as young as as young as you, you'd want mm -hmm. i mean i would just say keep working obviously this is like so cliche but just keep working hard and like you can really um achieve whatever you want to achieve at the end of the day like if you just keep working at what you want to achieve it will happen and just be persistent with it and um always put in that extra work too i feel like that's so important Cause people are like, all right, I'm going to go practice. Okay. I'm good for it, whatever. But like, if you say you need to work on something like for me again, when I was younger, like was my feet, feet, feet. And I was like, okay, I'm going to stay after an hour to just do this yeah. on a wall. Yeah. Just like, just be able to be persistent with everything you do and just um, a like believe in it. Some people are just like, I'm going to do it. But it's like, you really have to believe like, okay, this is my goal. This is what I want to do and just be um, on it. So I feel like that's something that was so big for me. It's just, realizing okay at such a young age i'm like this is what i want to do when i'm older and i'm going to keep working at it and keep working a hundred percent in everything i can do and just be the try to be the best in everything you can do like i took um a master's program at ucl and it was a transformative coaching and leadership and mm -hmm. my philosophy just in coaching i feel like in just in life is just be the best person student and athlete you can be i feel like that in that order especially so i feel like that's such a big thing too Absolutely. Now that, that's actually just wisdom. Like that's incredible. <laughs> and it sounds simple, but it's the simplest things that sometimes are the hardest. And yep. um, I'm just glad to see somebody who's part of the San Diego fabric of soccer, who's going to enjoy it as much as anybody would, especially as hard as you work. So congratulations making it. So and much. we really, you know, hope to see you get that, get that start real soon and get some <laughs> minutes in there and, and, and keep training. Uh, we'll just wind it down here. Just one more question that we, 
like to ask um, here uh, if you had yourself a golden ticket uh, and you can go to any sporting event or any type of event, past, present, you can't really do future. Um, but you can be there, any World Cup game, any, any uh, Olympics game, any, you know, uh, any event, what would you pick? Oh, gosh, that is crazy. Um, I feel like the 99 World Cup would be pretty crazy. And nice. right, in present, I feel like my goal, actually, it's like on my bucket list, <laughs> is to go to any Man City game in England. Yikes. Okay. Uh, uh, what are you, huh? Uh, and you, Liverpool, what do you got? What are I, you? I'm man, you all the way. So how did oh, that go? God. How did that go? Oh. Uh, please don't um, mention let's just Liverpool. not talk about the Liverpool game. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. game, huh? Uh, oh. it's, yeah. no, that's not, <laughs> okay. it's not. It's all good. So your Man City, we can hate on him because he's Man U. But it's all good. Guess what? Uh, man City lost to um, my team the cha- in the Champions League two years ago, uh, Chelsea. So, <laughs> I mean, if you really want to go there, enjoy the league. Enjoy. And- I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I had a feeling it might be a little controversial now. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's, it's all okay. good. It's part of it, right? Like this is this is what we like about soccer, and this is how we the wish part of it. everybody can enjoy <laughs> soccer. And it's and it's hopefully the way that uh, moving forward, everybody does uh, check San Diego Wave out and enjoy it as much as everybody, yeah. uh, any one of us do. Uh, so again, I want to go ahead and say thank you again for your time. I know it's. Um, the middle of the week there's a lot of work to do this is yeah. your rest day which i know casey's big on recovery recovery yeah, recovery yeah, yeah. so yeah uh want to thank you for your time if you want to stick around we'll wrap it up here right after but uh check out san diego wave uh their preseason is starting get those tickets i know they had a good uh deal and there were there will out. be more deals so get yourself out there it's a great time get out thank there with you snapdragon as well thank you lauren yeah thank you so much guys i appreciate Perfect. it all right and